Position, so I'm kind of critiquing um, a position that a large percentage of black women, you know, in Britain and America, outside of Africa, also in Africa, kind of have to do and negotiate with because our hair has been sort of devalued historically and it's more than just something, at the, you know, something that grows out of your head, it has sort of political connotations and all sorts of, you know, you know, so much is read into the type of hair and hairstyle that you have. So for example, dreadlocks and natural hair, meaning an afro, the way that your hair naturally grows out of your head, is deemed or seen within sort of black communities as being more right on, more radical. And the other end of the scale, if you have extensions, like these are extensions, or um, or a weave, or, or other sort of straighten your hair with the with a chemical called relaxer, then you know you're then you're you're trying to be white, um, and this, as I say, has kind of goes back to sort of slavery, um, where sort of black women um, or black people, you know, our hair was all this cotton thing with you know term derogative terms were associated with our sort of natural hair, and um, it's, it's just a, it's a, a, a negotiation that, you know, in the 21st century, you know, we should have moved on and it should be okay if I want to have extensions, if I want to have my hair red, if I want to straighten it, uh, like, like any other woman on the planet. And yes, that is fine to some extent and, and you should be able to, you can do that, but, it, but a lot more is read into it. I mean, you know, straightening your hair as a black woman from Michelle Obama... Uh, to Oprah Winfrey, if you can think of any sort of black woman, um, Condoleezza Rice, any black woman, you know, sort of in sort of a position on TV that you can think is probably got straightened hair. And I mean, if, for myself, I just think, well, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that, you know, that there, there are debates again in, in communities, black communities, where, where people might say, well, you know, they're not, you know, they, they're not very conscious about who they are. And so anyway, this is the, the whole, um, that's what, you know, it's critiquing. And, and I, myself, I'm, I'm in that because I don't actually like my own hair. Um, and it, it, it's, something, it, it, it's, it's something that's obviously embedded and in, within me. And, um, uh, you know, I was just about to say something else. Um, the cardigan, of the act where I'm putting the cardigan on my head. It was really amazing when I was doing research um, for this and piece, and I just sort of realised that so many black women growing up did that. Um, when I was a little girl growing up, my, my sisters, uh, my friends down the road, we would put cardigans on our heads and we would pretend we were white. So growing up in 1970s Britain was, you know, you were odd and we were different in that we had plaits and curly hair. And so when you, you know, when you were playing amongst yourselves, you would, that's what you wanted to do. But I thought it was just me and my sisters. But it's just this universal thing that is just incredible, which means, which, which you know, it, it's quite sad. But it means that, um, you know, that it, it's kind of, it's something embedded and it's, um, it's, a, it, it's, it's really complex and it's a constant negotiation. And when I, I change my hair a lot, and I do think, you know, you, you might go to the hairdressers and change your hair to another colour, you're not going to think, what, where, what, do pe what will people think of me in terms of my political, um, where I am, what, you know, where, <coughs> how I think politically, and so on, or how I feel about myself, if I change my hair to another hairstyle or permit. 
or straighten it. And these are all the things that go on, if, you know, before I change, you know, do something with my hair and my children, my two daughters' hair. So that, that's it. I don't know if you want to ask anything. I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say, I think it's uh, very interesting, uh, the piece that you've done, because I, I don't think that it's just limited to black women. I think that women in general have yeah. an issue with their hair. I mean, you know, you, you have the bad hair days. Yeah. Ask but, any husband, that's what I said. Sorry? Ask any husband. Ask any husband. <laughs> So, but of course, coming, you know, from your cultural background, from our cultural background, I completely understand, I, you know, the, the whole thing with cardigans on the heads. Yeah, we used to do that at school, but it wasn't just black girls, you know. So from that point of view, and also there are black women that do have straight hair. So when you kind of contextualise it, it's, there are two kind of avenues to, to look at. I think it's about uh, somebody's identity and it's about feeling comfortable with yourself. And that can happen, you know, whatever culture you're in. But I think it's a valid point to highlight it, you know, and to create something in this format because we don't see it often enough. I was going to ask whether or not you considered your behaviour before you put the wigs on, or was that a natural reaction to wearing different wigs? Cause well, in yeah. this case, because I you kind of put. Did this a coquettish wig? And you kind of fell into that characteristic when you put that on. I don't know whether or not that was something you considered before you, you put it on. No, it was I had a mirror. I was I was trying to be myself. Yeah. In these, you know, if I had this hairstyle and, and what you would do in private, and it, so it was quite sort of, you know, you were kind of looking at me, right. trying on different wigs, trying to, you know, you, you were in my personal space. So doing, you know, sort of, thinking, oh, what do I look like? Or, you know, you know an, an afro, you put all white on. you your afro, you did a little Yeah, that kind of was white on, because, because... Was that a, a, you did yeah, no, it was right. kind of, it was, like, it was like a performative, um, I wasn't necessarily, um, I didn't say, right, when I put on the wig, I'm going to... I just did that yeah, naturally right, because okay. that's what it made me feel. Well, that's... And that's how um, the... Not even society, but that's how it made me feel. Right. To just feel politically more subconscious because it's read that way. And so I did that. And so I looked at myself doing that as well. Because I'm not... Although I'm critiquing it, I'm, I'm, I'm also part of it. I, I'm not, you know, saying, oh, look at these... I, 